Today I fucked up by eating out my girlfriend so hard it sent me to the ur. So this Friday evening my girlfriend and I were having a great night. We were in the middle of having sex and I was all the way downtown and determined to make her come. I suddenly felt a teeny tiny snap or crack in my jaw and thought absolutely nothing of it. There was barely any pain. I didn't even consider it worth mentioning at the time. When we finished, we went to bed excited for the rest of the weekend. Saturday was also fine for the most part. We did a bunch of shopping in preparation for a camping trip this upcoming Wednesday. I needed comfy shoes for walking around on mud and rocks so I purchased some bright orange Crocs and joked that wearing them is effectively an advertisement that I was taken. We had ramen for lunch. Maybe I didn't notice any pain during lunch because I had soup. But when I got home and had a solid snack I suddenly felt intense pain on the left side of my face. I could no longer bite down on my back teeth either. I told my girlfriend that I first felt something the other night and she half jokingly apologized and said it was probably worth it. The pain remained on Sunday but I had to work. It mostly hurt while I was eating, so talking all day wasn't too bad. I managed to slowly eat a banana for breakfast by mushing it against the roof of my mouth with my tongue. I had a beer for dinner. Today is Monday and it's getting progressively worse. I was scrambling all day to see a doctor at various walk-in clinics but ultimately managed to get a last-minute appointment with my family doctor. His diagnosis is that it's probably swelling around my TMJ and that it's unlikely that my jaw is dislocated, so he prescribed some painkillers and set me up for scans throughout the week. He also unnecessarily thanked me four times for sharing why I think this happened, tried to mime out what a jaw looks like when it's all over a pussy for his own benefit, and then reassured me the office wasn't being recorded. When I got home and ate some pho, I realized the pain was continuing to creep up despite the painkillers. So I am sitting two plus hours in the urn now and not going home unless a doctor fixes my jaw or confidently breaks the news that I need to be on a liquid diet for the next couple weeks. My girlfriend is talking to her friends and they're already saying that if I die, at least I died doing what I loved. They are calling me a hero. My camping trip is likely cancelled sad face. Too long did not read. Ate puss too hard. Jaw felt destroyed next evening. Now I am bored and waiting in the ER. My girlfriend is with me to keep me entertained in a SFW kind of way. Edit. It was a long 12-hour wait in the ER. After I spoke with the doctor, they confirmed that TMJ is likely the cause and recommended that I see a dentist for x-rays instead of going to a medical imaging facility or doing x-rays there. Nothing else offered or gained from this grueling hospital stay. At least girlfriend and I passed the time by playing gin and making this post. On the upside. Maybe it was going 16 hours plus without trying to eat solids. But after this hospital overnighter I feel like the pain has significantly improved. Maybe I was a bit overeager to go to the ER. But without any prior history of this. Suddenly finding that I couldn't eat solids was a huge shock. Anyways. I will be looking up physio exercises for my jaw and TMJ specifically. Booking a dentist appointment and will keep taking the anti-inflammatory pain meds that my doctor prescribed earlier. Thank you all for reading, your comments reassured me sometimes, worried me other times, but most of all made me laugh. Hero. The nearest motorcycle club will issue you a specific achievement patch for this, just show them the paperwork. Trust me, you'd know if your jaw was dislocated. Source. Dislocated my jaw going down on my now husband. I feel like I need the ur update on this. My sister is a trauma er nurse. I have been a floor nurse for some time. Bro got snailed. Call me hand call me hand. Today I fucked up by smoking too much weed. Obligatory this happened last Wednesday. I am, or rather, was, after this incident, someone who smokes weed daily. I also hadn't had a solid tolerance break in well over a year and have been smoking regularly for three years. I got home from work and put some water to boil for dinner, and took a fat bong rip like usual. I coughed so hard I threw up a little bit, but I didn't think much of it. I ate my pasta, but a couple hours later I threw it back up and my stomach was feeling awful. Over the next night and day, I got progressively worse. My stomach hurt like hell and I couldn't keep any food down. It didn't help that this was during a heat wave and we don't have AC. Since I don't have a license, I called my mom to make an appointment with urgent care and take me to her house with AC. It was after urgent care closed, so the appointment was for the next morning. As my mom was driving to my house, I felt even worse. I couldn't keep water down, I was throwing up every few minutes, my entire body ached, 
and I started to feel numb like I was about to faint. I was certain at this point that I needed to go to the ER. My mom came to pick me up, and at this point I could barely stand or walk. I needed serious help getting down my apartment stairs, and again walking from the car to the emergency room. They put me in a wheelchair and I clutched my trash bin that I had been throwing up in. After an excruciating two hours, I think, I was too delirious to have a good sense of time. Sitting in pain and feeling myself getting worse by the minute, I was finally taken into the ER. They did all sorts of stuff to me. Two EKGs, a CT scan, blood work, and IVs in both arms. I was severely dehydrated and my electrolytes were dangerously low. Over the course of the next 7 hours and 3 liters of IV fluid, I very gradually began to feel better. After a lot of begging, they eventually let me drink water again. My mom stayed by my side the entire time. It was 6 a.m. when I was finally discharged. I went to my mom's house and began recovery with water, Gatorade, and saltines. It's almost a week later and only now am I eating normally again. So, what was the cause of all this pain and suffering? I was diagnosed with cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, CHS, which occurs in daily heavy users. I had never heard of this before, nor had anyone else I knew, including other daily smokers. Needless to say, I'm going to avoid weed for a while and cut back significantly when I start smoking again. Too long did not read. Cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome is awful and can happen to long-term daily smokers. Got sent to the ERC cause of weed. Uh, sounds more like heat exhaustion than weed. I had this happen maybe 10 times over the years and was in denial until it finally lasted a full week and I almost died and barely was able to recover. Three months clean as of now and feeling great. Was a very difficult transition but got my health back and have noticed significant changes in feeling stronger and healthier. E.g. skin, energy, strength, etc. Had no idea what it was until extensive internet research. I try and warn people about the need for hot showers, took maybe 50 of them the last time, as the dead giveaway. I've wound up in the ER several times for the same thing. It sucks. If this ever happens to you again, a scalding hot, as hot as you can stand it, shower helps with the vomiting. I pretty much was high 100% of the time for the last 14 years or so. Recently finally stopped, but I've never had an issue. Sorry for your shit luck. This post and comment section just unlocked a new fear. I kinda feel nauseous just reading this. Today I fucked up by eating an entire block of cheese. What the title says. Today, I had a weird and almost unquenchable craving for cheese. It was bad, really bad. It felt like I am a pregnant woman craving something weird. In my cheese craven misery, I got up and went to my kitchen to find some cheese. It's about 1am at this point, and I am not thinking super straight, so I thought, fuck it, let's microwave the entire block like I did during my childhood, and I did. I took the cheese out and put it in a plate, microwaving it for about 2 minutes. It came out all gooey and nice, like what you'd expect on a grilled sandwich. I sat down and started gobbling on the now melted cheese. For the record, I am not lactose intolerant. I feasted upon the cheese like it was my last meal before an execution. I am now laid on my bed, regretting every life decision leading up to this point. I have never felt such horrible stomach pains from eating cheese. It feels like I am going to implode. Everything hurts and I am sweating from the pain. Lactose has never caused me trouble before, but I believe I've met my match. An entire block of tills at cheese, melted in a microwave. God, everything hurts. I believe I am constipated. It is almost 4 a.m. and the only thing keeping me awake is the aching pains and gurgles my bowels are producing. It feels like Satan himself has entered my body. Too long did not read. Ate too much cheese, in incredibly agonizing pain. Edit. My stomach has calmed down, my bowels have not. I have been gurgling like a boiling water pot. For the record, I am still a teenager. Edit number 2, the finale. For some commenters' recommendations in Google. I got some laxatives and a ton of water. It around 6 a.m. when my body finally gave up and I fell asleep. I woke up at about 8 a.m. with my stomach producing sounds that comparable of an old car engine. I am glad to say that my bathroom didn't nearly explode as badly as I thought it would. I have never in my life felt so much relief and joy over the fact that I can shit. I am now happily laying in my bed, in complete bliss, happy that this hell is over. What a journey. Better get the poop knife ready. How high were you? Did Charlie Kelly write this?
You ate a whole wheel of cheese? I'm not even mad, that's impressive. Before we go any further, I'd just like to point out how disturbing it is that you equate eating a block of cheese with some sort of bachelor paradise. 